Thanks for checking out our channel today. What we're going to be looking at is a 2019 Chevy Tahoe that we built for the Franklin Township Fire District. This is going to be the Millstone Valley vehicle. What you're looking at up front is we have a western push bumper with four whale and ions cut into it. These are the dual smoked version. On the push bumper, we have the black oak scene light. Taking a look at the sides of the push bumper, we have whale and ion duos in tricolor. And then the fog lights are the whale and M4s with the fog light override with the whale and fog light housing. Up top on the light bar, we have a legacy duo color. So taking a look at the mirror, we have the Whalen Ion V-Series. These have the integrated puddle lights that come on when the doors open. They also have the front scene for takedown. On the running boards, we have Whalen Ion tri-colors with white override. These are wired to white to come on when the door opens. They provide additional scene lighting. And then we also have the corner of the light bar. This is a Whalen Legacy dual color. Taking a look in the side window, we have Whalen Ion duos and dual. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle, we have the Whalen Ion chimsel bracket for the Chevy Tahoe. This is dual color. It has a white override for reverse and scene. On the rear hatch around the license plate, we have Whalen Ions in tricolor. These are flashing red and blue, and they have the white override for reverse and rear scene. What we've done, we've activated the factory taillight flasher in the vehicle, and then we've replaced the reverse lights with an LED bulb to add extra warning and extra scene function. The lower bumper is also whale and ions in tricolor that have the white override when the hatch opens or the vehicle is put into reverse. On the hatch, we have whale and iOS lights that are wired in to flash warning, and then they also do the arrow stick function when the arrow stick is on and then we have OS lights on the side. On the hatch, we have Whalen strip lights in three different positions along with the same side. And then we've also recessed their speakers into the rear hatch. We've also recessed the speakers into the rear hatch to help project the sound down. These are with our special bracket that allows them to be serviced when the hatch is still mounted to the vehicle. You don't need to disassemble it. So the rear cabinet, we have a full height, full depth slide out board. This has our magnetic drawer face on it. We have our radio faceplate with our Knox box, our radios, Blue Seas, USB, and 12 volt, along with controls for the scene lights, rear hatch kill, and the arrow stick. We have a sundry drawer. We also have a drawer, aluminum drawer, for their iPad mount. We have another parts drawer on the side here. We have another command board. This one has a plexiglass overlay. This is not a ratcheting one. Then we also have a pen drawer up front. On the bottom, we have another pull-out tray. This is for any of their other equipment. This has their Bullard camera charger along with their gas meter charger. With the SCBA pull-out, you can see that we've got their Scott Pack bracket, water can, and then we also have power out here for any flashlight chargers that they may want to use. The front radio console. This is a custom console that we designed for this customer. We have USB 12 volt outlets. We have the GM factory audio in. We have the Whalen carbide siren and light controller with the OBD2 interface. This also has a 200 watt Whalen siren. We have their Motorola radio heads. We have two separate cup holders. We have USB charging station. We have a small map pocket along with their portable radio chargers. On the side of the console, we have a hint mount that has a Havis docking station for their tablet attached to it. And also, you can see on both sides of the console, we've recessed the Motorola radio speakers into the side. So taking a look under the hood with all of our vehicles, we have our master disconnect for the 12 volt electrical system. And then we also have our voltage management system. This disconnects the auxiliary equipment after anywhere from 15 minutes to 16 hours. This helps prevent dead batteries. It also has a low current shutoff. On the front here, we have our node bracket. We, we've added the Whalen Carbide Expansion Module along with a fuse panel setup. This is to help distribute all the warning lights that are on the front of this vehicle and provides a serviceable area for this. If you like what you see, check out our website, www.1075vehicles.com, and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you. Thanks for checking out our video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your attention and support. Thank you.